Okay, so now that we have generated a pair of access and refresh tokens, so let's see that how do we use this refresh token. So for that, when do you want to use this refresh token? Only when the access token has been expired and the client gets a message back from the server that the request is unauthorized and the JWT is expired. So you can check that on client side and then you can send back a request with this refresh token inside the request body to the server back. So this is our route here that is to refresh the token here. So if we simply make a request here, we see that we are getting this thing here that is refresh token route. But instead here, what we want to send here, we want to make a post request with the body containing the refresh token. So the header type would be again content type would be application JSON because we are sending a request JSON body. And the body would contain only a single thing and that is the refresh token like this and this should be in quotes inside this REST client. And here we need to pass in the actual refresh token. So let me again generate a refresh token here. So let me log in here and let me copy and paste this refresh token here like this. And this token which the client stores in their browser inside local storage or if your client is using an Android mobile, then you can save this token inside shared preferences or if he's using iOS, then you can save this inside user defaults. But now let me simply copy and paste it here like this. And now let's handle this route here. That is refresh token route. So let's go to our auth routes here. And here let's go to this refresh token route. So that's this route here. And here what we want to do firstly, Let's remove this statement from here. That is the default response which you are sending till now. So here what I am going to do, I am going to again use the try catch block. And if there is an er error, we can simply call next with the error here. And now inside the try block, the first thing which I want to do is that I want to extract the refresh token from the request body. So we can say const refresh token. That is the incoming refresh token equal to request dot body like this. And we can use destructuring here to directly get the refresh token out from the request body. And firstly, we'll check if the refresh token is not present inside the body. So if not refresh token, then what we want to do, we want to simply throw the error like this, throw create error. And it's a bad request because the token is not present inside the request body. So we can simply throw the error. Otherwise, what we can do, we can simply verify this refresh token. So what we can say, we can say await verify refresh token. Though we have not created this method, but we'll be created creating this method in a moment inside the JWT helper file. And here inside this verify refresh token, we can simply pass in the refresh token that is coming here inside the request body. So now let's go to this uh, thing here that is this JWT helper file here. So let me save it and let's go to this JWT helper and let me copy this function here because we are going to create this function here after this sign refresh token method here. So ref verify refresh token and this takes in token as the argument and let me call it refresh token to be explicit like this. And now here what I'm going to do. I am again going to return a new promise because JSON Web Token Library doesn't have promises inbuilt. So we are re returning a new promise from here. So return new promise like this. And this promise should either resolve or it should be either rejected like this. And now what we want to do inside here, we want to verify this token that is the refresh token. So we can say JWT dot verify. And here the first parameter is the token here. So we can pass in refresh token here that is coming here as a parameter. And the second argument would be the secret. So process dot env dot refresh token secret because we are using refresh tokens here. And the third argument would be the callback with the error as the first parameter. So error comma payload like this. And then here what we can do if there is an error. If there is an error verifying this refresh token, then we can simply return and reject this promise. And we can say create error dot unauthorized. 
because if there is an error while verifying this re refresh token we can simply throw the error by saying that this request is unauthorized because we do not want to send any other message back to the client or if there is no error then what we can do we can extract the user id from the payload because as you see here that is when we are signing the refresh token refresh token contains these claims here and there we have this claim here that is the audience and that audience claim contains the user id as the value so we can extract the user id like this so const user id equal to payload dot audience and here we need to provide only aud and not audience full because payload contains the short form of audience and that is aud and now we can simply resolve this promise so we can simply say resolve and here we can simply provide in the user id here like this and again in this video i am not implementing blacklisting of the refresh token i am simply verifying the refresh token and when we are doing the blacklisting of the tokens that is the refresh tokens then we need to do something more inside here but for now we simply resolve this uh, promise by simply resolving the user id here and now let me save this file from here and now let's go to our auth route here and here we see that we are awaiting for the verify refresh token method here and if this promise resolves then we are getting back a user id back because this function resolves the user id and now when we get the user id what we can do we can again generate a pair of refresh token and access token so what we can say const access token equal to await sign access token and here we need to pass in the user id like this and then we again need to generate the refresh token that is a new refresh token so refresh token equal to await sign refresh token and here again we need to pass in the user id like this and then we can simply send back the response that is response dot send and here we can simply send the access token and the refresh token like this so now let's save this application and let's go to our risk client and let me make a request here okay our application is not started and we have an error somewhere here okay because we are getting this error because refresh token has already been declared so let's go back here to our auth route and this is why because we are again using creating this uh, variable here that is refresh token as a constant here so let me call it ref token and now here inside the response we can send access token to the access token and refresh token to be ref token like this and now one thing more we need to also require this function inside this file here that is authrow.js so here we can require it here like this so now let me save this application and let's make a request to our protected route and we see that we get JWT expired. So now let's log it inside our application and we get a pair of refresh token and access token back. So let's copy the access token and let's paste it here and let me also copy the refresh token in clipboard so that we can use it later down the line. And if we make a request we see that we are able to access the protected route and now 15 seconds have been expired and the JWT is also expired. So now since we copied the refresh token inside our clipboard so we can use that refresh token to generate a new pair of refresh and access tokens. So let me paste the refresh token here and now let me make a request here to refresh the token and we see that we are again getting back the access and refresh token. So we can use this access token back here. Let me quickly paste it because the time would expire and I think the time would have already been have, have been expired. So we see that we are able to access the protected route from the refresh token or from the newly generated access token. And now the JWT again expired. So we can again use this refresh token. That is the new refresh token, which we again copied to our clipboard. So again, we are getting back the access token and refresh token. And we can do this again and again. That is using the refresh token to generate a new pair of access and refresh tokens. And now only blacklisting of our refresh token remains. So for that, we need to connect to our Redis database. So in the next video, let's see that how do we connect to our Redis database.